Okay, so just looking over your problem that you just did, um, we would say inches and feet. I think you know that there's 12 inches in every one foot. You would need to know that to cancel out those inches. Okay, number two, we would say uh, 3 times 3 is 3 squared plus 2 times 2 is 2 squared times and it doesn't say times but we understand that it means times because it's out in front of the brackets 2 times 2 times 2 times the parentheses again we know it's multiplied because it's in front of the parentheses the square root of 36 well uh, 36 is equal to 6 times 6 and we don't write the square root we don't write the 2 in there but that's what we mean and it means we're looking for twins and there's you know if we said 4 times 9 that's still 36 but they're not twins 6 times 6 those are twins so I'm gonna write 6 because that's what I'm looking for one of the twins not both of them just one uh, minus 2 times 2 because that's 2 squared in parentheses and then times it doesn't say it but I'm gonna write it times 1 whenever we're next to parentheses that means multiply plus the square root of 16 well the square root of 16 we have 4 times 4 16 equals 4 times 4 there's my twins I know I didn't write the 2 if I don't write a number there I mean 2 so I'm looking for twins so it must be one of the 4's minus now the third root now it's we're not assuming two because there's a three here so let's see here um, let's think about this a little bit more we'll say the third root and you know we're looking for triplets now okay so can we write 27 as triplets well yes we can three times three times three is 27 so you I think you know what's going to come out there uh, Triplets for 125, well, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. It's the same thing. So we'll come back to that here on the next step. And we will say, okay, let's go ahead now. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9, plus four, 2 times 2 is 4, uh, times 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, times 6 minus, I better not say 6 minus 2, no, no. I better say 2 times 2. So I'm going to say 6 minus 4. PEMDAS tells me i got to multiply first. Times 1 plus 4. But wait, you said I have to multiply first. Well, it's in parentheses. So 1 plus 4. We'll do that next and we'll say 5. And then we're going to say minus. Uh, we're looking for triplets. Well, there's a triplet on top. It's 3. And there's a triplet on the bottom. It's 5. So the third root of 27 over 125 is one of those threes and one of those fives. Okay, so there we go. That's our new form. And uh, let's go ahead here. Let's say, um, well, we better do the inside of the brackets first. So let's just focus on the brackets for right now. We'll say 8 times, what's in there? There's a 2 in there. 6 take away 4 times 5 and minus 3 over 5. We'll have to do that last. And we'll say um, 2 times 8, or 8 times 2 is 16, times 5 is 80. Uh, the multiplication order doesn't matter, so I could say 2 times 5 is 10, and then times 8. Uh, so I can say 80, take away 3 over 5. Mm, I'm going to need common denominators, aren't I? Ooh, this is really 80 over 1, right? I can always put things over 1. I'm going to say uh, 80 times 5 and 1 times 5. And you say, why would you do that? Well, uh, I'm doing that because I need common denominators, and 5 looks like the common denominator. So uh, let's go ahead and say uh, 80 times 5. 8 times 5 is 40 with an extra 0 minus 3, and they're both over 5 now, right? 5 times 1 is 5. Yeah, that's unnecessarily complicated, right? But anyway, uh, 40, 400 take away 3 is 397 over 5. This is the inside of these brackets that we've been working on. 
we finally got the inside. Now that we got the inside, let's look back up here and see what we skipped. We skipped the times 4. And it's really 4 over 1, right? And then at the very end, PEMDAS says I have to wait to add. I can't say 4 plus 9 is 13. That would cause trouble. So, uh, who wrote this problem? 397 times 4. Wow. I'll bet your problem is easier. 397 times 4. And we get uh, 1588, 1588 over 5. And then we're going to add 9. But you see I write the 9 over 1. I can always do that. Uh, goodness. This is more than we usually do. Uh, so let's see. We took care of the brackets, so I'm not writing them anymore. Once I multiplied by 4, once I multiplied by that 4, uh, I'm done with the brackets, so now I can just go ahead and say 45 plus 1588 over 5. Hmm. Well, I still have my calculator. 1588 plus 45, and that's 1633. That ends with a 3. That means it's not divisible by 5. If it ended in a 0 or 5, it would be divisible. And I'm totally okay with improper fractions as an answer. I suppose I could divide by 5 and get a decimal answer, but I think we understand it better if we leave it as a fraction. So there we go. Um, I bet yours is not as bad as that. Um, this was a lot to do, but we have to remember our PEMDAS. PEMDAS says parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And when we do multiplication and division, whichever one happens, on the left to the right. We don't, multiplication comes before in our word PEMDAS, but um, if division happens before multiplication, we do division first. And then once we get done with multiplication and division, from left to right, addition and subtraction. But first parentheses, then exponents. And then multiplication or division from left to right. And then after that, after everything else, then the addition. So you can see we waited to the bitter end to add. We had to wait. Do not say 9 plus 4 is 13. Don't, don't say, oh, I got 9 plus 4, 13. No, no, no. That's four times that. You better not do that. Okay.